This is lesson 34 in module 3. In this lesson, we're going to be multiplying two digit multiples of 10 by two digit numbers using a place value chart. Let's start with this problem. Mr. Groggins has a garden. And in his garden, he planted 10 rows of beans. And then he planted 10 rows of spinach. And then he planted 10 rows of tomatoes. And then he planted 10 rows of cucumbers. So 10 rows for four different vegetables, 10 times four, he planted a total of 40 rows of vegetables. In each row, he put 22 vegetables. Our question is, how many plants did Mr. Groggins plant? So we can write our problem as 40 rows times 22 plants equals how many total plants? We're going to rewrite 40 as 4 times 10 times 22. And we see this is similar to the area model that we've used before to find the area of a rectangle. So let's look at this in a place value chart. Now, we've used a place value chart before to multiply, but doing 40 dots 22 times would be quite a long task, and we'd probably make a mistake along the way. So let's use what we know about associative property and the place value chart to make this a little easier. So this, we know, is also equal to 10 times 4, we can change the order here with the commutative property times 22. And the associate property tells us we could group these two numbers together. So let's show this much on our place value chart. We've done that before. So let's do 22, and we're going to do it four times. Now we also know that when we multiply by 10, the units in our chart simply go up to the next higher unit. So 8 tens, if we multiply by 10, would become 8 hundreds. Similarly, 8 ones, if we multiply by 10, would become 8 tens. So we have 800 plus 8 tens, which is 80. We don't have any ones, so if we add those together, we get 880. So our original problem of 40 times 22, we now know is 880. Let's look back at, at that problem in a slightly different way. So we start out with 40 times 22. In the prior solution, we group together 4 and 22. Let's group a little bit different this time. Let's use the commutative property to reorder our factors and say 4 times 10 times 22. And this time we're going to group the 10 and the 22 together. Let's put these on our place value chart. So let's start showing 22, and multiplying by 10, we know just simply moves it to the next higher place value. So now we have two hundreds and two tens four times. So we have 800 
plus 8 tens equals 880. So we can group our factors together in different ways, whatever makes it easier for us to do the mental math to help solve our problems. Let's look at another one. Let's look at 50 times 31. So we could say 10 times 5 times 31 breaking this down. Let's first try it this way. And in our place value chart, let's sew 31. And we'll do it five times. And then we're going to multiply by 10. So we're going to move them over to the next column. So now, before we had 15 tens, now we have 15 hundreds. I'm going to take our ones and move them over to the tens since we're multiplying by 10. So now we have 15 hundreds plus 5 tens, 0 ones. So if we add them together, we get 1,550 as our product. Let's look at this product, this problem again. But this time, let's see if we can do it without the place value chart. And this time, instead of decomposing the 50, we're going to decompose the 30, 1, into 30 plus 1. Th this time, we're going to use the distributed property. We're going to say 50 times 30, 50 times 30, plus 50 times 1. And now we have a problem that we can easily do with mental math. 50 tens times 30 tens is 15 tens. I'm sorry, 15 hundreds. 10 times 10 is 100. 15, 5 times 3 is 15, so 15 hundreds plus 50 equals 1,550. Exactly what we got on the prior problem. So we can use distributive property and associative property as well as the place value chart to help us solve these problems. So let's go to our problem set. So this says to use the associative property to rewrite each expression, solve using dis, and then complete the number sentences. So let's do the first one together. We have 30 times 24. So we're going to decompose 30 into 3 times 10 times 24. So that's 3 times 10 times 24. Associate property allows us to regroup. So let's show that on our number chart. So we start with 24. And when we multiply by 10, which that changes them to the next highest place value. So whereas before we had two tens and four ones, we now have two hundreds and four tens, and we're going to do it three times. So we end up with six hundreds and twelve tens. So when we add these together, we get 720. All right, stop the video and try the same strategies to solve B.
Okay, so we have 4 times 10. We've decomposed the 40 times 43, which is equal to 4 times 10 times 43. So on our place value chart, let's show 43. We're going to multiply by 10, which changes them into the next highest place value. I'm going to do it four times. So this leaves us with four times four, sixteen hundreds, plus twelve tens, and when we add them together, we get one thousand seven hundred and twenty. All right, you try C. Okay, filling in our equations here, three times ten times thirty seven. Then with the associate property, we're grouping the 10 with the 37. So let's show 37 on our place value chart. We're multiplying them by 10. So we get 300s. And we get 7 10s. And we're doing it three times. So here we have nine hundreds, and we have seven plus seven plus seven, twenty-one tens. And when we add them together, we get one thousand one hundred and ten. Okay, moving on to number two. Now you're going to be writing the equations to use associative property by yourself and then using the place value disk to solve. So stop the video and try 2A. Okay, so what we would have here, we would decompose 20 into 2 times 10 times 27. We're going to group the 10 and the 27 together. We're going to show 27. And we're going to multiply by 10. So we have now 200s. And now we have 7 tens. I'm going to do it two times. So now we have 400s, which is 400. And we have 14 tens, which is 140. And if we add them together, we get 540. So our product is 540. Stop the video and try B. So we're going to rewrite 40 as 4 times as 4 times 10 times 31. We're going to group the 31 with the 10 on a place value chart. We show 31. Multiply by 10. So now we have 30 hundreds and 110. I'm going to do it four times. So now we have 12 hundreds and four tens. And when we add them together, we get 1,600. Sorry. 1,240. Okay, now for 3A and B, 
We're going to use associate property, but not use place value dis. Stop the video and try 3A. So we're going to write 4 times 10 to represent 40 times 34. And we know that 10 times 34 would be 340 times 4. So 340 times 4. 0 times 4 is 0. 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So our solution for our product would be 1,360. Try B. 50, we're going to decompose into 5 times 10 times 43. We'll group the 10 with the 43. So we'll have 5 times 430. So 430 times 5. 0 times 5 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21. So our product is 2,000. 150. Now for number four, we're going to use distributive property. We're going to, and we're going to distribute the second factor. So we're going to break the second factor down. So pause the video and try A. So this time we're going to do 40 times 30 plus 4, and we're going to distribute the 40 over the two numbers in the parentheses. So 40 times 30 plus 40 times 4. So we've distributed this over the other two numbers. So 40 times 30 would be 4 times 3 is 12, and we're multiplying 10, so we'd end up with hundreds, plus 40 times 4, it'd be 160. So when we add those together, we get 1,360 as our product. Try B. This time we're going to write 60 times 20 plus 5, because we're distributing the second factor. Then we're going to, using distributed property, we're going to do 60 times 20 plus 60 times 5. So 60 tens times 20 tens would be 12 hundreds plus 60 times 5 would be 300. When we add them together, we get 1,500 as our product. And that concludes lesson 34.